these same doors that were bolted shut were wide open. And I looked up and I was like, oh fuck, here we go. <laughs> you guys saw that, did you see that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. OMG, this is the third time that I've tried to film this video. Obviously you can tell by the topic that it's my experiences as far as living in New Orleans when it comes to paranormal and spirit activity. For those of you guys that don't know, whether you're new to the channel or whether you just maybe missed me talking about it, I currently live in New Orleans, the French Quarter, which is one of the most haunted spots in this area. And my apartment, by default, is right next to one of the most haunted spots in all of the French Quarter. And of course, I've had experiences, and I'll share them with you because i that's the goal of this video. However, I have tried to share my experience. I've said the same thing. I've tried filming three times. Three times. And each time something has happened. So I'm really hoping that this is the last time that I have to, you know, film this. In fact, I'm doing it at a time that's pretty quiet when it comes to paranormal and spirit activity. So I'm hoping that I'm not going to like, you know, spark anything up, which we'll talk about. I'm going to get it onto my Mac. I'm going to edit it and I'm going to upload immediately. But at the same time, I would not be surprised if there's issues without that pro throughout that process, but knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't happen, but I'm just going to do my best. And hopefully this is the last, last time of me doing this. And if that's the case, then you know what we tried, but the first time that I filmed it, as I was filming, chunks of the video got deleted or the camera cut off. Well, that's what happened. And there's a crow right now. When I was filming the first aspect of it, the camera legit shut off and just completely cut off while I was filming. I saw it and I turned the camera back on and started filming again. Now, my apartment and my courtyard is attached to one of the most you know, haunted spaces in New Orleans. I don't wanna ex disclose too much of those details because it will disclose my location and I'm just not in the mood for having stalkers or anything like that. It is what it is. The wall that we experience, the most of the, the noise and the activity is connected to the most haunted spot in the French Quarter and that's where I feel it kind of spills over and it's rumored that our building, our home, was a part of that way back in the day but I'll explain that as we move forward. So what I did was I was talking and I had the camera set up and it was facing the wall and for about 20 minutes I filmed and documented spirit, um, tried to see if I could document and capture paranormal or spirit activity on the camera. Again, the camera shut off so there's choppy bits of it but the piece that wasn't erased off of my camera, in my opinion, I did not see anything on that so I don't know if I'm gonna add that onto the end of this video, maybe I will, but it's about 20 minutes long and there's nothing Thing from what I could see that had captured anything on there and I did it from two different angles. The other video that actually did, there was a lot of orbs that were caught. When I put it on my Mac, it was completely, I after I saw the videos get deleted and after I had other videos deleted because I made a video for the Sacred Circle Tarot School, those videos were completely erased. After I saw that they were erased, I just immediately uploaded it onto my Mac because I'm gonna be like two steps ahead of these um, spirits at all times. Tell me how it was uploaded on my Mac. It's completely erased. It's completely gone, including the, the video that I shot of me talking about my experiences while I was living here and the video footage that I actually caught orbs. So I don't think that it's any coincidence. You guys know I'm pretty logical and I like facts only, even as an astrologer and as an intuitive. I like facts only. I don't like jumping to conclusions, but I just find it really fishy that the video that actually caught paranormal activity and I quickly uploaded it onto my Mac to save it and preserve it is the one that was deleted and the one that has no activity on it whatsoever is the one that it is that I have. Okay, that being said, and you know, you guys can choose to believe me or you guys can choose not to believe me. After I put the camera up and after I tried capturing activity and saw that there were some aspects that had it and some aspects that didn't, let me tell you, it the activity actually increased like three times the weeks to follow. It wasn't directly afterwards. It had to have been like two to three weeks afterwards. I would wake up at like three o'clock in the morning or couldn't be able to sleep. And I, I'm a person who enjoys my sleep. I sleep really well. And it would be like three o'clock in the morning 
or four o'clock in the morning, I would wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, which is not like me at all. I typically wake up around nine or 10 a.m. and then I start doing my work for the day. I do my meditation. You guys know my morning ritual. I would be so tired, so exhausted that I would go to bed at nine and I would wake up around three or 4 a.m. and it would sound like there's like banging from the wall. There's banging in the courtyard. It sounds, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me go ahead and show you really quickly. All right, hold on. Don't judge me. If it's messy, then it's messy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that um, table right there, it would sound like those um, chairs and those tables are moving. And I don't know if you can see, but that's wrought iron. Like those chairs are very, very heavy and they don't just move. The other thing is that my neighbors don't come out. Like I can hear at this point when my neighbors come out into the courtyard because I can hear when they open the front door. And it would, they, I know for a fact that they're not up at that time of day. Hold on, let me adjust this really quickly. Boop. I know for a fact that they're not up at that time of the day, but it's as if someone was just moving furniture around or switching things around. My balcony, all right, hold on, let me show you. My balcony is right here. This is my bedroom, and this is my balcony. The sounds were never coming from my balcony, but they do come from that wall, and that's the wall that links over to the haunted spot in New Orleans, and I'm not gonna tell you what that building is because I'm gonna disclose too much. For those of you guys that are skeptical, that's the air conditioner and that's the heating unit, but we did not have that thing turned on. It wasn't running whatsoever. We won't hear any noise, or I didn't hear any noise from my balcony. It was always from the courtyard in like over there in that corner, which to me was surprising because the spot that is haunted is like right behind me, but it's kind of spilled over into the courtyard. It just sounded like people are having a party or like moving things, but like I didn't hear voices. It just seemed like there's like a lot of scuffling and moving. The other thing is that we have like a lot of boards up on the windows, like the storm, the hurricane shutters, and my door is protected by a hurricane shutter, kind of similar to this one. And it almost sounded like it was being opened and closed or kicked around or something like that, which is really weird. So, I was just experiencing that. Now, quickly afterwards, my mom came to visit. And my mom, for those of you guys that don't know, she's very sensitive to paranormal activity, as well as my grandma and my grandma's mother. And I honestly believe that that's where we got that feeling of that sensitivity to paranormal activity. And my mom just came for January 31st. That's how long it's taking me to make this video because of all these issues that just kept showing up and kept on happening. Because I was talking about this video for a while and then it literally, I'm filming it for the, hopefully the last time. But while my mom was here, she was saying like, <clears throat> my mom's very sensitive to spirit activity. She picked up on all of the spirit activity that's in the apothecary in Philadelphia. And that's another story too. If you guys wanna hear me tell scary, not scary stories, but, my assistants and stuff that are working underneath me that I'm teaching, you know, witchcraft and bottles and intention oils and that type of stuff. They were having their own experiences working solo in the apothecary. And then when they took things out of my apothecary in Philadelphia and brought them home to work from home, they were having experiences like crazy experiences there. So if you want a video on that, just go ahead and let me know and hit a thumbs up or leave it down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to share more of these story times. I know this is so chatty and so long. I'm so sorry. We're already at like pretty much 10 minutes or nine minutes right now. But so my mom comes in for my birthday. That same weekend I cut my hand, but not on purpose. It was an accident. I was washing the dishes and she was saying that she was picking up on a lot of um, paranormal activity and sparkles, which was crazy because that's most of what, outside of seeing like spirit, that was what I was experiencing a lot here when it comes to spirit activity are these like gold sparkles, some of which I actually caught on camera, which I'm gonna add to this video so you can see it. Look above the skull head to see the sparkle moving. Okay, let me show you that again in case you missed it. So there you can see that there were some sparkles that I caught in my first apartment, which was also haunted in New Orleans. It was so interesting because I wasn't trying to catch it on camera, it just happened by default. I happened to see it and second guess it, and then when I pulled my camera out in order to share my ritual with my tribe on Instagram, that's when I happened to capture it, and it wasn't until a few hours later when I was looking at the videos that I was like, oh my god, there it is. So I've seen gold sparkles and I've seen blue sparkles so far, but as far as far as paranormal activity, this door right here, I remember talking about it because I filmed this already. One thing that has happened 
a lot in this apartment is the one door that leads to oh okay okay I've got stories so the one door this door is my bedroom it leads to my bedroom and leads out to the balcony right this door is the one that leads to the wall that is right here that leads to the most haunted building in all of New Orleans. Literally, I will come out and take out the trash and there will be tour guides standing right across the street and they'll just look at me and I'm just living my life, taking out the trash and they're getting a history tour because it's one of the spots on the map. But anyways, so my bedroom is here and this door will be closed and locked. Now let me show you, and I did this in the other video, so I've, I'm definitely repeating myself. And I also did it on my IG, on my Instagram story. But let me show you how you have to lock this door and how impossible it is. If I've locked this, how impossible it is to unlock it. Now let me flip this around really quickly. So in order to lock this door, there's this latch here, there's this latch down here, there's this latch right here that slides over, and then there's this latch, I don't know if you can see it, right here, that slides up. So let me go ahead and show you. So the door gets locked. This gets slid over. See how that's bolted? This gets bolted down in the ground. So that's bolted. This gets latched like that. And this gets pushed up. I'm not going to do it now, but it locks into the door at the top. Now... I will be in my bedroom doing whatever it is that I'm doing and I'll look over and this door after having it closed will be wide open. It's always this one door that's connected to the wall. The day that it is that I filmed this paranormal video that I had every intention of uploading, I was talking about it and I ordered food because I was doing a mukbang. Went downstairs to go pick up the food. The door was locked and literally you guys keep in mind I was picking up the food that I ordered in order to do like a paranormal, you know, living in New Orleans, mukbang and chill, like legit. And the door was locked. It was freezing out. The heat was on. If there was a crack or if the door was open or if I mistakenly left the door open, it was windy out, there would have been a draft. I would have felt it immediately because I was sitting right across the, 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 you know, the way. Like I'm sitting right there where the vanity set is and this is where the doors are. So I run downstairs to go get my food and I walk out the front door, I pick up my food, I turn around like something catches my eye, I look up from the balcony, which is right here, and the doors that I just had locked that were bolted shut, these same doors that were bolted shut were wide open. And I looked up and I was like, oh fuck, here we go. <laughs> and these are the same doors that it was that I was talking about that just like open up on their own, but it waited until I left to go pick up my food. Okay, so the air conditioner unit turned on, so I had to move inside. I'm currently in my office at this moment. But what I will say is this, and then I'll show you guys the footage that it is that I captured. When my mom came to visit, and this was just this past weekend, I decided that I was gonna go out and, you know, at the end of the day, and I, of course I invited her, but she decided that she wanted to stay in and just kind of relax because it was like a day that was filled with a lot of, a lot of activity. So one of my friends invited me to come out and to support him at his new job. So I decided to go out. My mom stayed in bed and was like just hanging out in my bedroom. And while she was sitting there, the doors were all locked. And she, she told me after, she told me the next morning, she said that while she was sitting there, she was just reading a book or on her Facebook or, you know, on her phone or whatever. And then the door creaks open, the door that was locked, that same bedroom door that I was showing you that has all of the activity connected to it, the one that's closest to that wall. She was just lying in bed and the door just swing, like slowly opens after it being locked. And she said, my mom's so funny because she doesn't really get, you know, hyped up over paranormal activity or anything like that. But she was like, I'm not, she literally says out loud, she's like, I'm not just, don't mess with me, I'm closing the door, and it, this is it for the end of the night. Like, those weren't her exact words, but she pretty much, you know, put her foot down with, with spirit, you know, wh whatever spirit it was, and was just like, I'm not the one, 
don't be opening these doors. I'm about to go to bed. You know, I want my, my sleep or whatever. And then she also said that same night she was lying in bed and Franklin, my dog, was sitting, you know, lying with her and she was about to like doze off and take a nap. And Franklin jumped up and was like watching something kind of like float. My mom couldn't see it, but you know, animals are so sensitive to things. So she told me that that next morning as we were sitting at the balcony having coffee and just saying that that was her experience from the night before. So it's just, it's been so interesting. This video is already pretty long as is. And I'm gonna add what I captured on film. I'm so sorry that the actual activity that I picked up, the actual orbs that I picked up, it's completely deleted, you guys. I went through my camera, I went through my Mac, I did not delete it. I have every intention of putting it up on my on my YouTube and sharing it with you guys, and it's completely gone. I'm gonna give little chunks of original footage that I have. I personally did not see any orbs and didn't experience anything. However, again, since I've made that video, or since I initially started talking about it, the activity has gotten very, very loud. Since I've made that, around three, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, again, it sounds like the courtyard, it just sounds like there's people moving furniture around in the courtyard, it's so weird. But it's not enough, it's never scared me, but I'll wake up like right before and I'll hear it so loud. And it doesn't scare me, I'm not a person that gets scared about, you know, over paranormal activity. But I understand that you guys asked for a, a story time. The original video that I shot of this, the original footage of my experiences in New Orleans, I have a lot of paranormal and spirit activity and I can also send you guys my information as far as my experiences of different levels of paranormal activity. You guys know that I talk about my experiences from my own experiences. I don't do research and I don't recycle that because sometimes I don't find it accurate. I only talk about what I know to be true from my own experiences. So. I'm not gonna make this video any longer, but if you would like to see a video, another story time, maybe a mukbang, of me talking about my experience with the paranormal in New Orleans and the levels of paranormal vibrations, I guess, and the energies, please let me know down in the comments or send me a DM on IG or whatever the case is, I'm more than happy to do that. And last but not least, I really wanna apologize, but I know you guys are gonna to totally understand for the choppiness of this video because again, I tried to shoot it three different times. I have three different footages and I'm gonna put all of it together as best as I can in a way that makes sense. But keep in mind, again, it was taking me weeks and a lot of those chunks, that footage is in chunks because it's missing or it just evaporated in thin air, quote unquote. So again, that's my experience so far. That's my story time, I guess, for this. And I'm so sorry, but it is what it is. Okay, so let me try that again. I went to go check on the camera and it was shut off. So. I don't like to jump to conclusions ever because correlation does not equal causation. I've learned that in psychology, but let's try it again. And hopefully it doesn't shut off this time. Okay guys, so I'm currently editing the video for the paranormal activity thing and I had all of these lights turned on um, because it's dark out and I turned the lights on to light the courtyard up and they literally just went out, like turned off all by themselves, that's never happened. So I'm going to try to turn the light back on, it's just funny that I said from the jump that we might have an issue with... Um, me editing this video. Of course, I'm sitting in the same spot, the same door, next to the same wall, and um, talking about paranormal activity, talking about this activity, and of course, the lights turn off. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see what happens. They shouldn't turn off all by themselves, but they did. Oh, shut the fuck up. 
Okay, so <laughs> for as long as I've been living here, I've never had an issue with those lights. I don't feel like playing with spirit tonight. I just want to get this video uploaded. I'm not surprised to see that I'm having, you know, the lights click on and off um, when I'm supposed to be editing. editing this now. From the moment that I've lived here, I've never had issues with those lights ever. They obviously want to stay off right now as I'm editing, so it is what it is. Hopefully we'll have a pretty peaceful, relatively quiet night. <laughs> But if anything pops off, of course, I'm going to let you guys know. You'll be the first ones that I tell. But I'm going to go back to editing the video with the lights off. So you guys know I'm currently editing and working on the par living in the uh, French Quarter Paranormal Activity video. As I'm working, the lights shut off legit on the outside in the courtyard, which has never ever happened. I'm here by myself, I know that for a fact, and the lights, see, they just turned on by themselves. I'm not making this shit up. You guys saw that, did you see that? The lights are doing this by themselves, As and I'm sitting right next to the wall. I'm not kidding, I'm not kidding. Anyways, all of the details, they just shut off by themselves. Every time I start talking about it, they start messing around. Ugh. Okay, regardless, every time I talk about it, they start messing around. Let's keep it like this, see if it turns on again. Boo! I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but seriously, though. Seriously, though. Anyway. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of set up the camera as I'm editing because the lights keep on flicking on and off by themselves. Um, this is me. That's the air conditioning unit, you guys. This is me trying to edit. And like I said before in the very beginning, I had a feeling that we were gonna have an issue with this, but I didn't know it was gonna be this obvious. So I'm gonna set the camera up um, and continue editing videos and we'll see how often the lights flick on and off. Maybe they'll stop at this point, I don't know. I Honestly, you guys, I swear on my life, I've never seen, even as I'm talking right now, I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm like waiting to see them like click off or do something, but I swear to you guys, since I've lived here, I've never had an issue with the lights. And of course, I'm sitting in the same spot that it was that I was talking about earlier. Uh, my neighbors aren't home at all. It's just me here tonight. And um, I was out with a friend earlier I, to take a break to get ice cream and came back to edit. So I'm going to set the camera up. You know, it's literally just me. There's no one out there. See, I don't know if you see that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. There we go. Okay, we're all set up. I'm gonna get back to work and getting this video done. If you guys see anything, let me know.